She has a loving family and a new puppy. But Michelle Audouin says, in the fight of her life, she's needed something more. She needed to be seen. Seeing other women who look like me with scars like mine just would have helped to normalize the experience and make me feel more um, normal, yeah, part of a community. Very good. Uh, Michelle's normal is a scary place. She was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer three years ago. After undergoing a double mastectomy, she opted for reconstructive surgery and ended up in a whole new battle. I really wanted to see women that looked like me who've had a similar type of surgery and see their scars. And when I asked around, they all seemed to assume that it was easy to find. And then as they, you know, looked for things, they realized that these images didn't exist. And how did that make you feel? It was really disheartening. It, uh, it sent a message to me that my experience um, didn't matter. Michelle knew she couldn't be the only one who felt invisible. Being a black woman with breast cancer has been a very lonely journey. So she joined forces with a charity she was involved in to help create this. We're important and we need to be recognized and represented. Uncovered, a breast recognition project a resource to give other black women the chance to share their scars and their stories. Leading up to it, there was a lot of sleepless nights for me, just a lot of apprehension about uncovering my body and my scars because I generally don't look at my body anymore. And I was, I was really, really scared. But at the end of the shoot, there was just this expression of joy, you know, um, relief. It, it was just the most beautiful thing, you know, that everybody walked in with a similar experience and walked off feeling so much better about themselves. It's really important to speak up. It was empowering, and it filled a void that is now being recognized. I think that's our responsibility to ensure that there's diversity and inclusion in the materials. And I think up until now, we have not done a good enough job. Dr. Tony Zong is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon at the University Health Network in Toronto. She has done research on the diversity of the patients she helps, but acknowledges the material provided to them doesn't reflect them all. Michelle's project is a tough wake-up call. So their, their outcome, their experience matter greatly to us. So to know that we could have done a better job, um, I think is... It's important. It's important for us to learn from these lessons. The lessons also raise broader questions. It's not clear how breast cancer affects women of different backgrounds or what their outcomes are. Canada hasn't collected race-based health data, but is currently working on how to start. I think in Canada we've traditionally seen ourselves as a colorblind society or as a place where racism doesn't exist. You know, we have to recognize what our history is and what's been happening here. And being colorblind is actually not a safe approach. Aisha Lofters is a doctor and researcher focusing on cancer screening and health equity issues. The Uncovered Project, she says, speaks to a systemic lack of representation in health care and the need to address it. You want to know that you're not alone, that you're not the only one, and you also want to know that the healthcare system sees you as who you are and that they don't view you as an other or as um, an oddity or as an exception. So to know that there's a specific effort made for people who look like you and who come from your experiences, your background represented, I think is, is really key. The new pamphlets are being distributed to cancer care centers across the country. When you see a project like Uncover, what do you hope it starts? I hope it starts a conversation like this one that we're having, right? The fact that we are here talking about specifically about black women in healthcare in Canada is not a conversation that traditionally has happened. So I think it's amazing just from that point of view. This is hope this is just one of many conversations. As for Michelle, one of the most powerful conversations she's had since was with her 13-year-old daughter. The first time my daughter actually saw my scars was when I brought home a copy of the Breast Recognition Project. Her eyes lit up. She was just so touched. Uh, you know, she thought it was just beautiful and really empowering, the stories that were shared, and she thought that I looked strong and beautiful, and that, that really meant the world to me. Michelle is still fighting her cancer, but it helps knowing she's now part of the picture of what that looks like. Joanna Rumaliotis, CBC News, Toronto.